Hi, so today we're going to do um, a pond tray, a spring pond. So I've got a big plastic tub. This particular one is from a water table from Hope Education. Um, but a plastic underbed storage container would be actually perfect. So the first thing I'm going to put in is some stones. I'm just going to position them round the edge. Right, so I'll put the stones round the edge there. And then I'm just going to make a little bank using a free offcut of turf. I'm just going to put that on the side there. So then I'm going to add some greenery. It's just some pretend leaves. There for some insects and things to crawl on. Around the edge. Then I've got we've got some big stones that we got from the beach. Excuse my blue dyed fingers. All will become clear. So we've got these big stones. We'll just make a bit of a bank here. Thank you, my love. Please. Yeah. Sounds like the beach, don't we? Nice. Yeah, I like they? to watch one. Pretty, aren't they? Yeah, I like the white. So the next thing we're going to do is use a bit of black felt. It's quite thick felt. I'm going to make a cave with it. There we go. So it just gives the things somewhere to hide. So the next thing we're going to put on is some green glass stones. And they're just going to look like tadpoles and various bits of pond fungi stuff in the bottom and then we're just going to position some little pretend flowers flower heads around the edge there we go, lovely, thank you so the next thing to add would be water. So I've just added a little bit of blue f uh, food colouring to the water. Um, you can use liquid watercolours, but we're all out. I think that's what washes out better, so just be aware of staining. I'm not going to go mad with the amount of water, just enough to make it again. Mm. Nice. We've got a few black beans stray in there, haven't we, that I went away with these. our stones. Well, you have to put these they up. can be something, so, can't they? Now you have to put these up so you have to not get on anywhere on That's your jaw. Right. have to roll our sleeves up. So I'm going to put the blue in. I'm only going to put as much as I need. More. Mix it around. So the next thing I'm going to do is make a little bridge with some twigs. So I just think we'll add a little more water in there. There, that's plenty. Right, so the next thing we're going to add is um, a frog life cycle. So this is, I'll show you, I'll put the link in the description box. So it's got the full frog life cycle. So it's a way of adding an educational twist. So we'll put the tadpole in, the froglet, the big frog on the bank, and the frog spawn down in the corner. Then we have some tiny little frogs we can add in. Yeah, see the big one, isn't he? Over here. We have a dragonfly. And we have some other insects, not all perfect scale to each other, but we don't mind. So then we'll add a couple of butterflies for the flowers. There we go. Oh, and I found a stray craft mushroom. Put 
that on the bank. We have a couple of glass fish stones, so I'll just put those in the bottom. Now, these aren't brilliant, but I've just I've used these over the years, just a laminated green for a lily pad. So I'll just put one of those on for a frog to sit on. Have we got a frog? Oh, that one. Let's put the blue one on. A little balance on there. There we go. That's the we should have put one on the bridge, shouldn't we? There we go. So I think, have we got everything in? He's there somewhere. So there we go. Uh, of Spring Frog Pond with Life Cycle. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more ideas.